Hi. Uh, today's video I want to make, today is October the 1st. Since the last time I uploaded a video to YouTube, I've taken Tracy to the hospital twice. In addition to that, I also have a diagnosis that requires me to wear these because I have 5,000K lights here in my studio and I need to save my eyesight. Uh, I could tell you more, but um, anyhow, I'm not wearing these because I want to be like Casey Neistat. <laughs> um, I actually have a purpose, so there it is. My purpose for wearing dark sunglasses. But today's video, however, is for a different purpose. Um, I want to record it to Dave. Um, I want to get this on record. Premonition I'm having, and it's it's become so pronounced that I really I ha I want to put it on YouTube. Um, I'm uploading it for the purpose because something's going to happen. It's not good. Great American Southwest, deep in the heart of the Texas Hill Country near the mystical land of the Enchanted Rock. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. I'm J.W. Spencer, and this is my Vision Quest. So for the last month, I have woken up every night at 3 o'clock in the morning. I have told myself that I was waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning every night because I was taking my dogs to go outside and do their business, to go potty. Um, based upon what's happened the last three nights, I don't think that that is true anymore. Yeah, it's true, but I'm taking them out to go potty, but I'm waking up for a different reason. And why three o'clock in the morning? You know, I, I know that there's a legend that Jesus died at 3 p.m., three in the afternoon. Three o'clock in the morning is the antithesis of that. So the legend is that it's called the bewitching hour, three o'clock in the morning. That there's some evil and nefarious or um, something not wholesome that happens at three o'clock in the morning. But for me, what it means is that when you're asleep, you're in deep REM sleep and your, your brain is in a different sphere. I, I've trained myself over the years. I mean, you can you know, ask my coworkers this, my wife especially. I've told my wife before, you know, I'm psychic and nobody believes me. Well, because it's true. <laughs> but I, I would, I've trained myself over the years that when I have a problem that I need to think about, that I'm not getting an answer during the day, during my work day. I, I've told my boss this number number of times. You know, I think I need to just take this home and sleep on it. And I'll come back tomorrow with the answer. And it's happened more than once. Multiple times it's happened. I've told my wife the same thing. And it's always worked for me. Is that I have, I have trained myself to guide my dreams um, when I go to bed, I ask a question and I'm asking it in a broadest sense in my mind and putting it out there as I'm going to sleep. I dream about that. 
And in the morning, I know what I'm supposed to do. I know the answer. I know I know the question that I didn't think about <laughs> or the perspective that I that I need to have. Well, um, three days ago, I woke up at three o'clock in the morning, but I didn't wake up because my dog was needing to go outside. I woke up because the dream I was having involved people screaming. I woke up. I can't tell if they were in agony of pain or agony of fear, of loss, emotional loss. Something happened that made a whole bunch of people scream at the same time. If you remember Star Wars Episode 4, <laughs> A New Hope, Obi-Wan explains to Luke Skywalker about the Force. And later, when the planet Alderaan is destroyed by the Death Star, Obi-Wan almost faints because there was a disturbance in the Force as if a multitude of people just ceased to exist. I'm hearing screams. Three nights ago, that's what I heard. Two nights ago, I heard screams. But this time, I heard a very deep, I say deep. Um, when I say deep, I mean a low rumble. Like a bass, like while they're screaming. Was it an earthquake? I don't know. Was it a volcano? I don't know. Was it something hitting the earth? I don't know. I'm going to dream about it again tonight. It seems to be getting clearer and clearer as time goes on. It's like you're getting closer to the event. Three nights ago, it screams. Two nights ago, it was screams with a rumble. Last night, it was screams with a rumble again, but it was more pronounced. I could tell I could hear women, a lot of women screaming. I don't know what to make of it. Not yet, but I want to document it. Today's October the 1st. Something's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. But I have a feeling it's going to happen. I mean, it's, it's, you know, I, I hate. <laughs> the only reason why I want to do this is because I want to get it on record that I'm hearing it. And it's something, if it happens, if something happens, God forbid, it happens. Um, I want you to view this as a YouTube video that I want to upload because I think that being, we are more than what we appear to be. Some people don't believe in God. That's okay. I do. I believe in, I believe that science informs us that we are more quantum physics, that there are at least 12 dimensions that we can only perceive three of 12. That there are forces in the world, there is a battle between good and evil, and it actually is real. That there are actual evil spirits in the world, and there are good spirits in the world. And that we can manifest good and evil in our lives by thinking about good and evil in our lives. What are you thinking about? Philippians chapter 4, verse 8 of the Bible tells us to, to think about noble and virtuous things, about love, things that build us up. 
not things that tear us down, noble things, virtuous things. The sad thing is that today many people have a distorted view of what good and evil is. What is good they call evil, and what is evil they call good. And sadly, I think some of this cannot be avoided because so many people have been deceived. And what is coming is coming regardless of what we do. So if I say, prepare, that's what I mean. Prepare. Prepare.